Welcome back, everybody. And Happy New Year. It is a brand new day today. Brand new year. Uh, I didn't upload anything last week uh, because we were pretty busy with, um, you know, Christmas and New Year's shenanigans and things and parties and birthdays and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're back, though. It's now 2024, and I'm looking forward to our trip. Um, I think I've decided that I kind of want to be heading, well, you can barely see it here, but I kind of want to head further into Venezuela, and then I kind of want to take this Mexico, Colombia, Bogota, all this sort of way up here, back up into probably California area, and then maybe up the coast uh, into Vancouver, maybe even as far as, uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe we'll just see what happens there, but I think that's sort of the direction I want to head. I don't really want to head further south as there's kind of a lot on in the Brazil side, and then it kind of gets empty. There's, it's just, it's not a highly populated area down here in Southern South America. Uh, well, it's populated, but it's, it doesn't have as dense infrastructure for airplanes. Um, and not that there's not infrastructure, but densely populated infrastructure for airplanes means that Neofly will give me more and more options to fly. I feel like I'm being a little bit, um, I kind of can't do the flights that I want to do, or I don't have as many options because, because of where we are. Um, and that's okay. It's no problem. I chose that. I wanted to go sort of island hopping and be in this area. And, uh, and that's what we did. And that's where we are. So I'm going to take this job here. Uh, to SVBM. We're still in Venezuela here. Uh, so I'm gonna take this job and then uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna get going. So how do I I forget how I take this job in this <laughs> in this uh, version. I thought it was oh not enough remaining cargo capacity. Okay so let's turn the weight down. Let's see where we can go. 473 no okay 375 is okay but 418 is not okay so let's make the weight I think we have 401 left or something like that. So yeah, we can still go here. Uh, we're just gonna take a slightly different uh, job here. So we'll take this and uh, we are going to, oh, we're going to back to TNCC. Oh, that gave me a different job. Okay, let me, sorry. I don't want, want to go back to Aruba or to Curico, Curaso. God, I. I remember drinking as a you know young adult and blue caraco blue curacao there was, there was always drunken fights about what that was called but uh, I don't think I ever figured that out uh, this is what we're doing here SVBM uh, we're gonna go over here into uh, this way oh maybe I did pick the right one SVBM I did have the right one oh, okay that's dumb it just switched over to the curacao curaco whatever that is okay it says I've got 48 pounds remaining. I've loaded this flight up into the flight sim already. Uh, so let's uh, join up and see how this goes. Hello, Captain. Nice to see you again. Hello, Captain. Nice to see you again. Yes, it is nice. It's brand new year. Um, I put out a video for Christmas Day. Um, it was just after Christmas Day, but it was sort of a thank you to everybody just because I've had such a honestly warm and, and such a good sort of reception with these videos so far. Um, it's really been a, a breath of fresh air to have some of that. So thank you guys really from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. This really isn't, like I said before, this isn't something that I do all the time. I'm not a pilot. I'm barely even a digital pilot here, uh, as you'll soon figure out. <laughs> so for anyone to watch and enjoy my stuff, they must just enjoy chill relaxed calm commentary and uh some some flying so if that's you i appreciate you i also put a poll up on my channel um i think you can see it in the in the channel there but i do play a bunch of other games um i've been playing almost exclusively now um i've been playing flight sim 2020 but i do other things i do uh, factorio and modded minecraft um, I do Space Engineers and Satisfactory and GTA 5 Roleplay, a whole sort of bunch of different, very um, different stuff. So if you're interested in seeing some of that, let me know. I've got a couple of people who already answered, but there's only two, so it's not a, 
a good uh, cross section yet, uh, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, let's let's start this plane up. Uh, if you remember, we're back in the I think the Bonanza G thirty six. Great little plane here. Uh, so we're going to do a. Welcome back, Captain. It looks like the weather is perfect for flying. Looks like it's perfect for flying. There's my son. Good morning, sign. pilot. Ready for your cargo mission? Yes, we're ready for the cargo mission. Uh, you have to load the airplane. The ground crew are loading the cargo. Stand by. Gotta get that cargo loaded before we start the airplane, otherwise it doesn't let us do anything further. And that's what we'll do. While we wait, you know, maybe take a couple seconds to subscribe or to write a comment. I've been enjoying and replying to every single comment that we get. Um, even the, the comments that are from, you know, less than happy people. That's totally fine. Uh, just a comment, just to see how I'm doing. It's fine. Transporter! Cargo is loaded. Cargo you can start loaded. your mission. Awesome. Okay, so we can start our engine. We're going to automatically do this, of course. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Probably also notice that I changed the time and date here. I'm not using real-time weather. Obviously, it's nighttime here in North and South America. And so it's not as fun to have that. <laughs> um, I can use ATC here as well, actually. And I can go to ground. And, oh no, I don't have... I don't have ground crew here. Okay, so that's fine. I guess I don't need that then. I was going to say get a pushback, but uh, I guess there's no pushback here. We'll just have to you know, go through this. Oops, I'm uh, going to put my parking brake on before I do that. All right, uh, we're just going to pretend that these things are not here. And we are going to go right through them. Fine. It's just a simulation. In real aircraft uh, or the airport that's not there. So we're just going to ignore it and pretend it's not really there. And there I'm flying, I guess, with my son there next to me. That's good. Alright. I'm going to slowly head up and I'm going to set my autopilot. I'll turn this on. Turn my selected altitude up to 9,200. And slow down here really quick. Good brakes, too. Thumbs up if you know what Nicolas Cage that is from. Good brakes. Good brakes, too. Watch that just the other day because it's amazing. Oh, I think I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> I am. I'm on the wrong way of the wrong way here. You know what, though? I think we can do it. I think we're kind of like in the middle of the wrong way. We can actually take a look here. Uh, no, not quite middle. That's okay. I'm pretty sure we can take off in this amount of space. Let me just set this really quick here. Um, I want the flight director on. I'm going to do a flight level change oops flight level change yeah there we go I'm gonna set this flight level change on how come that doesn't let me do that vertical speed flight level change maybe I have to set that up when we're going okay fair enough all right, let's get going. Notch flaps. Get that prop moving, and let's go. Short takeoff here on this one third of a run. Should be totally fine. And I say it's very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Everything's good. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. There we go. See. Told you, nothing to worry about. Pilot from dispatch. Fly safe. Alright, so now we can turn this on. And we should be able to get. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 
I set this to about 86. 86 knots, perfect. Okay, we're going to turn autopilot on. And we're going to pull back on our throttle slightly. And that'll get us going on our way. This reminds me of that uh, the airplane that you start off in. Um, I forget where it is in the US, uh, but it's built on this like plateau as well. This, uh, this is the Venezuelan version of that, I guess. That's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to head up. Uh, we should be okay with everything here. Let me just double check everything. Oh, we're still over speeding our prop a little bit there. Uh, flight director. Oh man, it's still over speeding there. It's okay. I'm going to let it over speed. I don't actually know why this is doing that. It shouldn't be doing that. Uh, vertical elevation is off. Nav mode is on. So nav mode is on, which means we should be heading the other way, but we're not. So let's see here. If we go to flight plan, and we go down to here, and we go direct, direct. There we go. I think it just it didn't know which uh, departure we were using, so it just kept going. But now we're just direct to our next um, our next waypoint there. So yeah, I think we're good. We're gonna go. We've got it to 9,200. Let's go 11,000 feet. Should be good. And uh, yeah, we'll go up. Maybe I'm not gonna. Maybe I'm not gonna do. should be fine too. Uh, you know what, just to be safe. <laughs> Let's just say 85. What this flight level change will do is it will keep us at a constant speed and it will pitch us up or down based on that speed. So the, air, the airplane in level flight obviously can do more than 85 knots and so it will pitch up and we will lose speed but we'll be gaining altitude, so yeah, if you're ever wondering what the flight will change, that's is the basics as I know, and I'm sure there's a better explanation for it, but I don't know, it's so, uh, yeah, we're going to keep the throttle pretty much in full, although it's still giving me this uh, fault there, oh, no, there, now it's gone, alright guys, I will be back in a little bit, I'm going to read some books to my son, and uh, go draw with him for a little bit, and then uh, I'll be right back. Alright, looks like we're up at altitude here. I'm gonna just bring up my map, my VFR map. And I'm just gonna take a look at where we are. So we're actually not too far away. Uh, I'm gonna check my flight plan and see. Oh, yeah, I gotta like control one. Yeah, control one. Uh, does this tell me. No, this doesn't tell me. This doesn't tell me what we're doing. Okay, that's no problem at all. So I know that I need to come back by NOSCA. I'm not sure. Let me check my... Okay, we'll have to go into Navigraph. It's very repetitive, I know, for those of you who watched all these. <laughs> my apologies. Um, and we are headed to... I forgot the airport name. SVBM. SVBM. And I'm going to run there really quick. Run really quick. My baby is, uh, my daughter's awake, and I want to get up there before my wife does just to give her a break so that she doesn't have to take care of her right now. Uh, let's see this plate here 110.5. So if I put 110.5 into here, yeah, 110.5 is already in there. So I've got the ILS already tuned up. So yeah, I'm gonna put you in time lapse and uh, I'll see you shortly.
Okay, sorry, I've just checked my navigraphic just because I realized I didn't actually check the right, um, right runway. This is runway 27, uh, which is going to be the correct way. Looks like we're getting to Irora, I-R-O-R-A, at 5,000 feet. So what I want to do is actually go into here, oh, knock my thing silly, yep. Uh, and I want to do, let me see if I R. Sorry about that. Um, I want to check if this is in my ROA is not there. Hey, okay. So here's what we want to do. We want to go direct to I. So by there, I want to be at 5,000 feet. Um, so that's good. What I can do is set my altitude to 5,000 feet. You can see it there. It's oh, 6,150. 5,000 feet. There we go. Um, and what we'll do, instead of a flight level change, uh, this time we'll do a vertical speed. And so what we want to do is maybe... 400 feet per minute. I actually don't know how long this will take, but it's always... I always end up going too fast down, so I won't do that this time. I'm going to back off on my throttle a little bit. Um, I don't want it overspeeding. <laughs> it's, it's probably been overspeeding this entire time. Uh, probably not great for anybody involved. Um, and then let's check out this frequency as well here. It's going to be changing. Frequency is Oh, they don't have an ILS frequency for this. Okay, that's fine. So we're basically just gonna be going from IR IROA and then direct to the airport and we'll just have to land it. Uh, it looks like oh no, there is a Yeah, straight in landing. They just don't have an ILS for this. It's just runway twenty seven. is 12-3 and 12-4. Alnav, Dnav, meh. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. <laughs> so, let's forget about it. Okay, so from our direct here to here, we want to get to 5,000 feet. We've already dropped 1,100 or so, or 500? What are we at, 11,000 or 12,000? I think we're at 11,000. So we probably want to drop a little bit more just to be safe. I want to drop 600 feet per minute. I think that'll get us down. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, just enjoy it. This looks really good, by the way. I like how the moon is just like sitting there too. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do a little time lapse and meet you guys on the uh, other side. is I want to basically get my flight plan. I want to get this ready to my destination. There we go. And I want to say direct. Activate. And now we'll basically fly direct to the airport. Um, I 
also want to reduce my altitude down to 2,000 feet. I'm going to reduce my throttle as well. And I'm going to go vertical speed of, say, 400. Actually, let's check the plate. See if it gives us... but I don't actually know it. What's the runway? Hmm. It is... Airport elevation is 2044, so I actually don't want <laughs> 2000. here and I'm gonna pull back on my throttle even more. I really want to get down on level 21, which is fine, but it's gonna be normal speed. Um, if you remember last time I kind of botched the landing on my Christmas flight. I think that was in the uh, uh, the citation the Cessna citation though. <laughs> that was uh, was a Pretty epic land if you saw that. Uh, we can see the field in sight here. This is where we're going right there. Uh, so we should be able to get that pretty easily. 20, 30 feet. Yeah. Got that. No problem. I'm actually going to go ahead and go down at 500 feet. Maybe 700 feet just in case we're still, I feel like we're a little bit high. I'm going to put our first notch of flaps up, slow us down quite a bit, and get our altitude down even quicker. 2,000, sort of point. Did I say 2,500? Stop at 2,500? Yes, I did. We're at half throttle. Look, our throttle is down here, and then our turn speed is still going pretty crazy. It's, oop, no problem. Alright, we're in line, 4 nautical miles, 3.5 nautical miles away. Getting pretty close. I don't think I'm going to get down quite yet. Down shortly. Alright, 3800, that looks fine. And we are falling nicely. I think we're still a little bit high. I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna nose down quite severely just for a little bit because I feel like we are pretty high. I'm gonna hit full flaps and hit the gears. Yeah, we are pretty high. I can still see. Let's see, we're getting pretty high here. So I'm going to take over and turn my autopilot off. And then I'll take over flying the plane. I'm going to keep my engine RPM up a little bit. I'll look for the plane things for coming in on the other runway. It's rather silly. I'm going to dive down pretty quick. We don't need a huge amount of space uh, to land in, so it's not like I need to land at the you know, beginning of this runway, otherwise we fly off, run off it or something like that, but uh, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna float too long. So we'll keep our RPM up a little bit. Alright, we've descended now. I don't wanna hit it too hard. Just wanna play it feather that throttle a little bit. Play with it until we're banking pretty high. That looks like it hurt. Well, boohoo to you. Uh, Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. No problem. Right. Yeah. A little bit harder. This is why I like using the ILS, because then I know... I know that I'm going down at the right feet per minute and all that kind of stuff. I will retract the flaps now. Don't need to be fighting that while we're on the ground. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. A little bit of a hard landing. It doesn't matter. None of our um, landings really matter in this until we crash or something. Um, but there are missions you can play with, like, uh, fragile cargo missions, for instance. And those ones, they do care if you hit too hard. Um, so they'll tell you you landed too hard and you broke, you know, 30% of your cargo or whatever it was. Uh, and so you get paid uh, a lot less for that cargo. 
which is a big bummer, but yeah, gotta have soft landings, so be careful when you're, when you're flying. Again, this is why I'm trying to get used to this ILS system for uh, landing, so that, you know, they are a lot smoother. The computer takes care of a lot of that, and uh, you don't have to worry so much about pilot error, which when I'm a pilot, there, there's an abundance of, let's be honest, this is, uh, this is a known quantity for me. So, uh, we're going to hope this yellow van doesn't turn right into us. Thank you very much, Mr. Van, I appreciate you. Uh, and we're just going to go over and we're just going to park. General Aviation probably is over there. But maybe it's here at the main terminal, I'm not really sure, I'm not familiar with this airport. That's fine, we're just going to head over to the right, where most of the buildings are. And we're going to go there. I'm going to pick one more flight, probably, for today. Um, or at least for January 1st, my time. There might be more flights added on, depending on what we pick. I just want to kind of see what we have available. Um, and see what I have time for to babysit, because... While I can be up and down a little bit while we're uh, flying around, I do have to babysit this as well um, fairly closely. Uh, so we'll see what I have time to do today. Uh, this looks like a great spot here. I like these parking spots, don't you? Yeah, it looks good to me. All right, perfect. I'll take one of these then. And we will. Oh, looks like we got something in our way up there. That's fine. Take one of the spots over here. No problem. Okay, let's see if we can park facing the other way. Ah, no, let's park facing the towers. Looks like that's what uh, the hangers, that's what everyone else is doing, so we'll do that as well. Parking brake on. Go in here. And cut that mixture. Pilot, stand by. The cargo is being removed. Got our caution <laughs> from winter. I think that was our pedo heat. It was off. That's fine. Uh, we do also have uh, the server running, so we can actually connect to the Sky Force Sim app, which will give us a clear mode. We go to Neofly and we hit connect. There we go. Perfect. Let's pick up fuel. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo was picked up by the customer. Your mission is completed. Mission is completed. All right, guys. Welcome back. I was going to do a second flight, um, but I got distracted with some other stuff and uh, ended up uh, not doing that. Um, so we're not going to do that flight. I'm back in the simulator, though. Uh, we are at uh, SVBM here in... I think we're in Venezuela still? I think so. Uh, so I want to find a new job for us. Let's see here. We can head over this way. Let's see... This is 390 nautical miles. Not bad, we can head down into Colombia. Uh, this is gonna be 429 nautical miles, but only 171 pounds. So that's, oh, sorry, that's my phone in my pocket. I almost never have my phone on. Uh, and the one time I do, it's there. Um, SKRG. Let's see, are there any are there other SKRGs? See, if we double up. No, there's not. It's only the one. See, if we double up on like passenger flights, then we end up uh, doing quite a bit better. We can head back up this way, back into Florida. I kind of do want to. I kind of want to go this like Mexico up the coastline, though. That's sort of where I want to go. But we could, of course, just go back up into Florida, over Cuba, or you know, over Cuba, around Florida, and sort of follow the coast this way till we get to Texas, and then just take a nice long flight away from Texas. Uh, nothing wrong with Texas. I have family there, but uh, there's nothing there to see in a plane. 
Um, I could do that. This is what? 760. I don't know what my maximum range is actually. Uh, let's look at the weight and balance. If we've got full fuel and a full payload, how far are we getting? Yeah, we're making it. Maybe up to here. So we can maybe make it down there. Somewhere around Panama City. Yeah, I don't really want to... I want to take this off. I want to take that off too so I can see better. This would get us to the right place. Let's see what's this. 164 pounds, 229 pounds. I bet you we can take both of those. Or... No, this is 390 pounds. I think we can take both of these, actually. This one. And this one. TNCA. TNCA. Oh, that's to Aruba. That's back to Aruba. Well, do we want to go backtrack? I thought that was going somewhere else. Did that not... See, is this... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's the next job. Sorry, that's not where we're going. We're going to SKMR. I was wondering about that. SKMR. Yeah, that didn't show me the airport that we were looking at. It showed me the airport uh, that what the next job was at. Slightly confusing interface on this. That's, that's my bad. Okay, so we've got... We've got weight here. We've, we're totally okay there. If I change my cargo now to zero payload and 100%, this will fill, I believe Neofly will actually fill my stuff up, so that's fine. That should be okay. Um, so let's see here. We've got 100% fuel already in the, sim, in, in the simulator and in Neofly, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, let's... Go, yeah, runway nine is fine, and then we're going to fly high altitude airways. Departure, not sure. Arrival is going to be ILS 32. How does that bring us in? Slightly from the south. Yeah, that should be fine. And the arrivals. No, that doesn't look right. Let's see. Sometimes I like playing with these. Ah, this looks like a good arrival. What about this one? No, it's a little far north. And that's from the other side. Okay. So let's take this one here. This looks like the best arrival for us. And it puts us right on approach for ILS 32. So that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and fly, guys. Let's do this. Hello, Captain. Nice to see you again. Hello to you. Nice to see you again. Pilot from dispatch. Please stand by. I'm standing by. They're loading the cargo. Uh, the other thing we want to do, obviously, is change the weather. Um, I appreciate that it's uh, nighttime there right now, or it's dark, but... Uh, I don't really want that. that. Oh! I, I'm i on the runway, though. <gasps> Is that going to be a problem? Usually I'm not allowed to start on a runway. You are clear to start your engine. Clear to start my engine? Dude, I'm about to take off. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Okay. Taxi to the runway and take off. I guess that worked then. Okay. Well, normally I have to start cold and dark, but um, <laughs> I, I guess it didn't. That's totally fine. All right. Let's set this up. We want to set our altitude. We're going to go... Um, this is all a lot of mountains around here. I'm going to see if we can do 14,000 feet. I'm going to try and get up there. I'm going to set my flight FLC mode on, and I'm going to set it up to... Let me see, 80, not 85, maybe 85 is fine. What does that say 80, 85, 86? Oops. 
85 knots. Okay. Okay, so that should be fine. We do want the flight director on. And nav mode to be on. Okay, so this should this should be good. And because we started on a runway by accident, um, yeah, we're basically good to just fly and go, man. So, let's just uh, look at everything here. I don't think I've taken off in this plane before while we're looking at it. So, let's just... Looks like we're overspeeding our prop already. Always a good sign. And there we go. Pilot from dispatch. Fly safe. Here. There. Go. Turn all autopilot on. Oh, I don't know why it's sinking us. Okay, I'm going to turn that autopilot off. Oh, 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 autopilot. Why are you trying to kill us? Why are you trying to kill us? 14,000. I think because I had the flight level change mode on, it's uh, not not working yet. So here we go. This should work now. There we go. So if I turn this down now, it should point us up. So now we go 85. I think the flight level change mode changed once I took off. I think that was the problem to look at the footage again, but yeah, that seems to be what the problem was. Okay, back on track. We are going to be climbing up to 14,000 feet. The reason I want to go so high um, is mainly because we're sort of going through some pretty rocky terrain here. You can see these mountains. I guess we're kind of skipping those mountains there. Yeah, it's actually not that bad, but it, like if we were coming around here, we'd have some big problems. I guess we're skipping most of the mountain stuff here. We should be totally fine. Yeah, because we're landing around here. Okay, I'm maybe not going to go all the way up to 14,000 then. I'll just take it to 12,000 and be happy with that. That sounds like a sufficient amount of altitude to me. This is as far back as we can get this, so... I'll put this there. And we'll watch ourselves climb. We can see it configured cruise now. It's totally fine. Gears are up. Flaps are up. I think I forgot in one of my videos to put up my flaps. I was like cruising with flaps on. But that's not advisable. I don't, I don't think people should be doing that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to cruise up at about a thousand feet per minute. That's pretty good. We're going to get on get on track here for our next... That says 18,000 feet. Is that really, should it be really 18,000 feet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Let, let's go to 18,000. Can this do 18,000? <laughs> I I don't know if this can. What is this Bonanza G? I'm gonna look it up on the internet and see if we can actually do 18,000 feet. Uh, Bonanza G36 ceiling. Service ceiling is 17,500. Okay, so this is just the simulator pretending that we're supposed to do that. I think it did that because I, I chose IFR High Altitude Airways, which is probably like more for planes and stuff. I think we can do 12,000 feet. I know, well, I know we can do 12,000 feet. We can probably do 14. I think that'll probably be fine. you, you got to find that nice balance between going too high um, and saving your fuel and being efficient too. So yeah, whatever. That's fine. We'll do 14,000 should be well above all of these mountains. I know further down to the sort of southwest, uh, there is quite a lot of big mountains. I mean, it is Venezuela. There's a lot of mountains in South America. Uh, but I believe we're sort of skirting all of these mountains and we're going to be uh, just fine. So I'm going to leave you with your traditional time-lapse videos, as is customary here on this channel. And uh, we'll catch you... When I come back and I have something interesting to say, or when you see something interesting.
All right, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, hope you enjoyed that epic uh, time lapse. Um, I was uh, getting my kids in the bath and getting ready, and uh, nearly didn't make it. So yeah, glad I got back in time. S K M R. Okay, we're searching for S K M R. Go. Let's look at our approach plates. And uh, last runway 32. So. So we come in here. We come past it and then turn around. Is that what we're supposed to do? 1800 feet, D.5. Four hundred and one. Okay, so let's start dropping our altitude. We're going to start by pulling back our throttle. We're going to set our altitude for five thousand feet, and we're going to set our vertical speed to maybe five hundred feet per minute. That's enough. I'm not really sure. Find out here in a sec. 24 nautical miles, 5,600 feet, so we've got 12,000, or, uh, yeah, yeah, we should be okay. We should be fine. It's basically a 9,000 foot drop. We've got about, maybe not quite 18 minutes, but we'll be somewhere around 6,500, or something like that by the time we hit this. And it looks like, uh, let's see, we have our plates for these. Oh, here we go. This is a better one. Our Ar RTAC. RTAC is on here, right? Yeah, RTAC. So maybe we want to go direct RTAC and then get to 3,000 feet. So let's do that. Let's set this to 3,000. I'm actually going to set this slightly below 2,800, let's say. 2,800. And uh, we're going to go into here and we're going to go flight plan RTAC. Our attack. We're going to go direct our attack. Okay, that's going to take us straight to this our attack waypoint, and then after that, uh, we can. We should be at 3,000 feet or so, and then we'll intercept the glide slope. We'll go into approach mode, and we will rock this bitch. Um, I will give a free version of CPU cores for the first person who comments. Um, who sings that song? <laughs> and if you had to Google it, it doesn't count. You had to actually know who the singer was that sings that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, our time. There we go. Uh, that actually brings me to what I wanted to say earlier, um, and I forgot. My apologies. Um, it's kind of crazy, but we kind of have a sponsor. Uh, so our sponsor today is CPU Cores. You can find them on Steam uh, or on their website, cpucores.com. But they're uh, some software that will help you basically speed up your FPS on some computers. Now, full disclosure, I have used it before. Um, it doesn't do anything on my main computer because my main computer doesn't have any big bottleneck problems. So, like, if your computer is brand new or it's, a, you know, a couple years old but it was, you know, very high specs when you bought it, um, like my computer, then you may not be bottlenecking your CPU at all. You, you know, your CPU may not be fully loaded when you're playing games anyway. Uh, however, on my laptop, I am almost always CPU loaded, uh, just with other things in the background and all the bloatware that comes with Microsoft Windows and all that kind of stuff. So, if that's the case, if you're finding that, you know, you're using a laptop or a slightly older computer and you want to try and just eke out a few more uh, FPS or a little bit better performance out of your games, or, or I think it works on programs as well, but... Um, yeah, that's uh, that's our sponsor. I've used them for a while, and um, yeah, cpucourse.com. Uh, check it out. You can also get it off right off Steam. But um, yeah, I've got a couple of free copies. I've got uh, some, uh, I guess, CD keys, or I guess not CD key, anymore, but the keys that I got from CPU Course. I can use them. Uh, so I'll be doing some giveaways and some other fun stuff with that. But 
uh, yeah, I don't think it's very often that a small channel like mine gets anything like that, so uh, I'm happy to be part of it, and thank you for listening. Um, okay, I don't know that we're going fast enough down. I'm gonna re I'm gonna pull my throttle back a little more, and I'm actually going to reduce this uh, a bit faster, maybe 700 feet per minute here. I'm gonna try that, and uh, we're only going 90. That's maybe not quite enough. Uh, have a little bit more throttle than that. But yeah, I'm gonna get to this waypoint here, and uh, I'll see you. When I when I get there. All right, welcome back. We are almost at our the RTAC uh, place. Can't quite see the field. I'm not quite sure. Oh, this might be the way over here. Yeah, that might be it there. Uh, but we need to be, I think it's at 3,000 feet, right? Uh, I was trying to figure out how to calculate descent rate as well. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah, 3,000 feet RTAC, and we should be able to hit that glide slope. 3,000 feet going down to 1,800, so let's actually uh, put this 1,800 in as well. Actually, we're now below, oh yeah, we had, we had said 2,900, right? All right, so here we are to slow down the throttle a little bit more. It seems like no matter what I do with the throttle, I'm always at 2700 RPM. I'm guessing that's a feature of this plane, maybe? <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is. That's fine. Uh, let's make sure that we're keyed in. So I'm going to hit the heading. And I'm going to hit heading select on. And then I'm going to find out uh, this is 1.10.9. 10.9 is on there, so we should hit CDI, and there we go. We have our our profile here. So let's pull our heading to runway heading, more or less. And we should be able to hit approach mode in a second here. Let's see, we're, it looks like we're below the glide slope where it wants us to be. So that's fine. When we hit approach mode, yep, perfect. Okay, it's pulling us back in to center, which is what we want. Oh, it's pulling us into, nope, it's not. I thought it was gonna make us do that full loop, but I don't think it is. Perfect, so we're five nautical miles away. We've slowed our speed. We're at 2800. Uh, this should be 1800 for the next. I wonder if we're going to hit this glide slope. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We should see this drop in a second if we got it correctly. Yeah, there we go. Captured the glide slope, and we are headed down. This is our next target here. Runway should be in sight, I think. I mean, we saw it a minute ago, but I uh, can't actually see it now. I guess I'm putting this in. It should be right here somewhere. It's kind of hard to see. The camera. Oh, there it is. I see. Okay. No problems. We're still. Just watch this pip. Make sure we're still on the glide slope. Make sure we're still on this. And we're all set. We're not five nautical miles, we're five nautical miles from the next waypoint. We're 7.4 nautical miles now away from the airport. So we're no problem. This is one of those waiting rooms where you just wait to make sure that you're still got enough speed. Still doing 127, which is a bit much, but that's fine. We're gonna back off a little bit on that throttle. Again, it's still, it, I don't know. Somebody, maybe somebody who knows this can tell me. Our RPM stays at 2,700, no matter, and then it, look, it overspeeds, but look, I mean, my engine is here, 
does this have an auto throttle or something that it's, you know, or is it because we're descending so fast that it's, I, I, I don't know, I don't know why that's happened. It's a feature of this airplane, it doesn't seem to happen in any of the other airplanes. It's uh, almost five nautical miles, I'm going to put up a notch of flaps here, just to try and slow us down, because we are doing 124. I think the landing speed on this I read was somewhere was like 95 to 100, 90 to 100, something like that. Um, at least I think that was this plane. Maybe it's a little bit slower. It should be just before the stall speed, which doesn't look like it's 90. So that's okay. We're still, look, we're still flying in the green, flying in the green. We got the green pip here. We got our glide slope there. We got this uh, vector here. So we're, we're doing good. I don't want to crash. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a couple of uh, fun experiences. If you watched the last video, which was my thank you video uh, for Christmas Day, uh, we had a very interesting landing, shall we say? I mean, I use the term landing, but I think I'm being very liberal in in using that. Uh, yeah, our pedo heat is off. We know, that's fine. All of our strobe lights are on, that's fine too. We've had them on the whole time. That's, that's cool. That's cool, let's do it. Uh, getting right into the runway now. Runway 32, we're on runway 32. Still in the glide slope. This is just the things I guess that you check as a, as a pilot at this point. You'll be running through all your approach checklists and talking to ATC and doing all that. Oh, speaking of ATC, so I was going to be using the VATSIM network for ATC, which sounds really cool because it's like it's people uh, that are, I, I say practicing or role playing, I guess uh, is a more accurate term. Uh, ATC. And uh, that's really fun, but they're not always on. So in the area that you're flying, they may not be available. Um, but there's a new thing called, um, I think it's called stateyourintentions.ai. I think that was the website. I saw it on Reddit. Uh, and uh, it's, like a, it's like an AI ATC that you can install for flight sim, which sounds really cool. And it's going to be an upgrade on the ATC that's currently built into the system. So that sounds really fun, honestly. That sounds really cool. And I'm uh, definitely looking forward to uh, to using that when I'm, a, when I'm able to. Um, so if, you're, if you've been looking for a way to sort of play with ATC, um, that might be the way to go. Okay, we're going too slow or too fast now. Nope, now we're going. Nope, we were going fine, then I increased. We're going too fast. Okay, I'm going to put my gears down. I'm probably going to take over now. Turn autopilot off. Yeah, fly it in manually here. Try and get a little bit more speed. It looks like we're going to hit some trees. This glide slope that it took us on might not be <laughs> might not be the exact glide slope that we would have liked. It looks like it was going to take us straight into those trees. So yeah, we don't want to be doing that. All right, full flaps. We're going to be banking back quite a bit. And coming in for our landing. The sun is next to me, very exciting about it. And here we go. Coming in right at our stall speed, just above it. We can float down the runway a little bit as much as we like. And then we're landing just off the runway, which is fine. Uh, not ideal, but you know, it is what it is. And touchdown. That wasn't the softest landing I've seen. Go. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. There we go. Slow down. Okay, thank you. My son's trying to be a side seat driver, side seat pilot. Uh, oh, look, at, at this tiny little airport, we have uh, a whole bunch of F 35s or F 22s or something. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting choice. <laughs> of, aircraft that are just hanging out here at the terminal. Uh, yeah, no problem. Alright. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Put our headset on so we can hear our friend talking to us here. And let's pick a parking spot, shall we? Try to avoid the rest of these guys over here, and let's maybe go right around here. What is this little plane here? That looks like a fun little plane. Let's let's park somewhere near there. All right, let's take this spot right up here. Looks like that's where the ground crew want us to go anyway. I guess we're supposed to park the nose of the plane over here. Kind of looks like where they want us to go. 
It's kind of cool that the simulator puts Grand Cree in there. I've seen this several times when I go to the right place. And we're good. Awesome. Okay, I am going to let all these guys out. Uh, all I need to do is just kill my mixture. Pilot, Stop stand by. The cargo is being removed. Cargo is being removed. Now, if you remember, we did two flights, uh, or two missions at the same time here. So we should be able to get the reward for both of them. I suspect, anyway. I mean, why wouldn't we, right? That seems to be the way to do this. To definitely do two at a time, if you can. I'll close that for now. Actually, I'm going to pull this up as well. I'll probably have to connect to the server, but that's fine. Where did that go? Start your engine. Mm -hmm. Start your engine. Nope, I don't want to start my engine until I have something else. All right, uh, it's probably going to be uh, the last one for me today, but I will be back tomorrow. Uh, actually, I'll probably do another flight on this video because this was only two. So, yeah, never mind that. I will, through the magic of editing, I'll be back in just a second. All right, welcome back. Well, I guess you never left because uh, still the same video for you. <laughs> it's been a couple days for me. My son is finally back in school, and that uh, has been great. Has been allowing me to do uh, actual things today, which is great. Uh, we are going to be looking for a job to do here. So we are currently at SKMR, which is Los Garzones, Monteria, uh, in Colombia. I want to go, I want to go to Costa Rica, that would be good, but that's 585 kilometers, or nautical miles, that would be really far away. Uh, I only say that because I, I have a limited time frame that I can do this today, and so having a slightly, hmm, here's a good one. Okay, let's do this by weight, or de destination, let's see. Are there any, so this one here is two jobs, but it's two. It's to Medellin. Hmm, what could we be taking? 174 kilograms of to Medellin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, cigarettes and computers. Uh-huh. We actually have three here. Look at this. We have three in a row that we could take to Medellin. And I think we can fit all of those on board. So this is a one passenger. Oh man, do we have to do that? That just seems too good, right? 30,000, 33,000 plus. $34,000 for one flight to Medellin. Ooh. That's very tempting, and it's only 161 nautical miles too, so it's really short. You know what? I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna take one, two, oh, we don't have enough cargo capacity. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we are going to SKRG. I haven't set this up yet. Okay, RG. Uh, where are we going to be going? Let's do low altitude airways, because we're actually, oh no, you know what? This is over the Venezuelan mountains here. Uh, let's probably do high altitude airways for that then. Um, arrivals, LS01. Yep, must be. All right, I'm gonna get ready uh, and uh, we'll go fly this. All right, yeah, I think this will be fine. Uh, we can try this. What's this approach here? I think any of these will probably work. That one doesn't make much sense. 
This one's probably the best. We just do a sort of turnaround. We'll probably just kind of go a little bit further this way. Down to, is there a down to? No, there's not. That's okay. We're gonna fudge that a little bit. We will uh, not worry about that too much. All right, let's go fly. I did set us out not on the runway, so we shouldn't get yelled at for that. Um, let's take a look at airports. SKRG. Just looking on Navigraph here. Uh, SKRG. Let's take a look at these approach. Let's take a look at this ILS-01. Oh, is there... Is there nothing here? That can't be right. Oh, there we go. ILS... Runway 1. Okay, we can get to that later. That seems like uh, Navigraph is running kind of slow. So, let's turn on our engine. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to hit ready to fly first. That might be good. We'll go through our checklist. And we'll auto complete this Hello, page. pilot. Let's see what's on the books for you today. Let's see what's on the books today. I know what's on the books. Let's pilot from dispatch. Please stand by. I don't think they flew that every time, do we? We have enough fuel, we've got about half fuel. I don't know what this is. I don't know why this tells me that I don't have enough payload. I, I have payload. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by what this tells me. Uh, here, and I'll fly. This says I've still got 52 kilograms, I guess I mean. So that's our pounds remaining. <coughs> so that's fine. We don't need to refuel. We have half of the need. Okay, so Navigraph just showed up. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna sort of come past the field, turn around, and intercept this. Looks like it's at 10,000 feet. Um, and so, yeah, we wanna be pretty high when we get to that. This is 12,000 feet for the VOR here. Everything is on board. And we sort of turn around. So that's great. All right, <coughs> let's, uh, oops, start the engine. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Actually, I wanna press my parking brake, make sure we don't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to set my altitude at 14,000 feet, I think. That should be fine. I'm gonna set the flight director on. I'm gonna select nav mode on. And I'm gonna select flight level change. And I'm gonna set that for, oops. I keep messing up which, which side is which there. Uh, I wanna do 80 knots. So that will hopefully get us in the right direction. Okay, now I do know there's lots of mountains in this area, <coughs> so we will want to be very careful about that. Uh, I think it's safe to be flying at 14,000. Uh, that should be no problem, but you know, always good to check. Uh, let's see where we are on the runway. I think we're halfway. Yeah, we're exactly halfway, so we want to turn and uh, we want to turn left here and then turn right. Go up the runway and turn around a little bit. We probably don't need to turn around the full runway length, but uh, Good to know where we're going. Um, we're gonna, again, just forget that these guys are here because they wouldn't be here in real life. Uh, so we're just gonna cut them in half. Sorry about that, friends. Alright, let's follow this. I can't see much. But I can see the taxi lines, so that's good. I hope everyone had a good holiday and a good new year. It's now January 8th, my time, uh, which means that the kids are, like I said, back in school. That makes everything easier. Uh, is this a taxiway? This uh, concrete pad here seems like it's unmarked and shouldn't, 
probably shouldn't be there like that. That's fine. We're going to pretend we have uh, clearance to go right away here. We'll probably just take off from here. I don't think I need to go down the runway at all. This should be fine. I'm going to put my flaps up to full as well. Pull this little bonanza around. Turn it around, little fella. Alright. We've got clearance, so we go. And we'll check our vertical speed and make sure that um, that flight level change mode has not changed uh, since we take off because sometimes that's what happens when you click that flight level change mode or you hit the autopilot and actually uh, I don't know, it seems like it's been resetting that which is kind of strange so check that before we go we have full flaps on here so it should be fine to get up get up pilot have a nice flight Just hold her steady for a minute here. Hit that autopilot button. And just make sure, yeah, so our 80 knot uh, has stayed. That's good. We are configured now for cruise. We have gears up. We've got flaps reset. We should be all good now. So, as per usual, um, we should get a nice sunrise and all that in your, uh, your daily scheduled scheduled time lapse so yeah enjoy the time lapse we're gonna get up i'm gonna watch it a little bit because of the mountains uh i don't want to be hitting anything or going uh, somewhere i shouldn't go so i will be around if anything interesting happens so uh, i'll come back otherwise just enjoy the flight guys All right, I'm back briefly. Um, I did want to start kind of a descent. It's not going to be uh, too much here, um, but we are coming up to the airport. We're going to have to... Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, as my baby says, uh, we're going to have to start that descent a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and get down to 10,000 feet, uh, and we're going to do vertical speed, and we're going to try and go about 500 I think we'll pull back on the uh, throttle as well just to slow ourselves down so we don't overspeed while we're doing this um, keen observers will note that it went from night to daytime instantly um, and that's because I actually didn't I thought, I thought maybe it was morning even though it was early afternoon here uh, in South America when it's not I'm in Calgary it's like the same time zone so uh, yeah I, I had to switch it to real time here and live weather um, and perfect, perfect timing. My wife is now home. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've changed this to live weather, live, uh, uh, time of day because it's better than flying at night. For some reason it had set up at nighttime. Uh, so yeah, that's okay. We're going to just start this descent really quick and, uh, we're sort of flying right over this mountain range. It's not as high as I thought it was. You'll notice back there that that was quite a bit higher. If we were flying at 10,000 there, we probably would have been, uh, uh, you know, grazing the bottom of our plane here. So, yeah, we're going to get down from 10,000, uh, we're down to 10,000, and then I'll, uh, I'll catch you there. All right, we're going to be turning around here. Zero. And we'll just attempt to. We're gonna go in a little bit early. We're not gonna go straight to this Don Two. We're just gonna go early. We're a pretty small plane, so we don't need the kind of run up that a larger plane would need. 
So, we'll turn here. I think 10,000 should be okay. Looks like that's definitely sufficient for all the uh, mountains here. And on the plate, it does show 10,000 feet before we start our, um, our sort of final run-in, so that should be fine. We should be good at 10,000 feet. I might actually drop to 9,000 feet just to make sure we intercept. Uh, but, yeah, this is going to be actually vertical speed. Let's go down 500 feet per minute. It's fine. A couple minutes, and we'll go down to 9,000. And we've picked up the the um, ILS frequency here, but we are quite far away from it, as you can see here. We're going to pick it up right here. So yeah, we'll uh, do this last little leg here. I'll probably do the rest of this in time lapse until we do our landing, uh, just to keep the video at a reasonable length. So yeah, enjoy. All right, we're pretty close now. I'll hit that autopilot. It's going too fast. So pull back that throttle. Full, full off laps. And then get ready to land. Gears are already down. I'm already centered on the runway. Should be a good, easy, hopefully, landing. Perfect now. Dropping a little bit faster than I would like, but flare out and press that. And load a little bit. That wasn't the softest nice. landing I've seen. We'll stop ourselves. Good. Taxi to parking Break. and shut down your engine. Put our flaps back. General aviation is probably over here. Just give ourselves a little bit more propeller here. Get ourselves off of this runway. Yeah, pretty quick, easy flight. Um, like I said, we've got two jobs that we can do here, so I, I was hoping it was three, but we just, in this plane, we just can't quite take enough for that. Uh, but it's definitely something that we'll look at when we get into our next plane, which I hope is going to be the Grand Caravan. Um, that'll pretty much boost us up quite a bit more with what we can carry and how many people we can take and that sort of stuff so yeah that should be pretty good um let's yeah, i think we can't this is just a turning point here it looks like i don't know, actually know where this goes maybe this is uh, uh supposed to go up here <laughs> i'm not really sure uh, it doesn't look like it does though, so I will abort my planned <laughs> exit at that exit, since that's not an exit. Maybe that's a, maybe there's a, like a fire hall or something like that. That's where the, uh, you know, fire trucks come out of or something. But it's not an exit for us, so we won't try and do that. had a friend of mine this summer went to Medellin and a whole bunch of places in Colombia I think and uh, I think he was in Venezuela some other places in South America he loved it, he had a great time all the power to him and now we're here dropping off his uh, what was it, cigarettes and computers <laughs> alright here we go or maybe he was the passenger maybe he's the passenger in here don't we have a passenger? I think we have a passenger and a, and a car or something like that. Anyway, I'm not really sure. I'm not that much into the RP part of this. I just like the flying part. And I'm not even that good at that. As you guys can tell, oh, maybe we could take a helicopter from here. Is that a little helicopter landing? Alright, we're just going to park here and be done. This is totally fine. Let's put the parking brake on. Cut the... Mix transporter and, oh, disembarkation in progress. Stand by. We now have new missions express advertising sensitive secret passenger, passenger and parachutist. <gasps> That's really exciting. Let's see if we can uh, see what we got next. Oh, that's not there. That's not there. Neo fly here. Okay, so now we can fly sensitive cargo, we can fly express cargo. 
We're second officer, so we can do hazardous cargo. First officer. Transporter. Need, uh, Loading is complete. VIP. Let's go. That's fine. Uh, tourists, we can do those. We I don't like these because they're not as much fun, I find, but maybe we'll start doing those. A secret. Ooh. Could be pretty good. These are all higher, I think. Oh, it's like a parachutist. This could be really fun, actually. Uh, do like a parachutist uh, mission where someone goes and does some parachuting. That sounds fun. Advertising, yep. Yeah. So these are now getting into some kind of more interesting uh, job types. Oh, thank you, Adobe. You're going to go crazy on my thing now. We actually got a lot of experience for that one. We got, um, we're actually a thousand experience in, so we got quite a bit of experience for that last uh I guess two jobs that we did. Uh, we're up to $127,000. I think this is where I'm going to cut it for the video, though, uh, so that it's not too long. Um, like I said, now it's the new year. Kids are back in school, and I should be back to sort of a more regular schedule for getting these in. So next time I get in, we'll find a nice, cool... Uh, oh, look at this already. Some uh, some cool jobs we can take here. Some express jobs. And basically, the, the better jobs that you can take, the more money you'll make uh, per distance. So it's basically a calculation, right? It's like the, the distance that you're traveling, you'll just make more. So we just did 160 kilometer or you know 160 kilometer or nautical mile trip and we made like 11,000 each now we can do 116 and make 19 so now we can just get into uh, better jobs that make more money so looking forward to that I'll see you guys in the next video thanks very much